Rainas, I can see you are there. Yes, I mean, uh, Mr. Kinga, Mr. James, Mr. Yes, Isaac, I can see you are there. Present. We are starting our session. We are starting our session right now. In our last session, uh, we were able to look at uh, semiconductor theory. And we said that there are two types of semiconductor materials in application. So, Mr. Kinga, what are the two types of semiconductor materials? Yes, we have P-type and N-type semiconductor. Yes, that's uh, very good. So, we are digging in uh, to the today's session, where we are looking at uh, the semiconductor diodes. So, by the end of this session, you should be able to apply semiconductor diodes. So, what is a diode? Mr. Kinga? No, 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 not you, Kinga. Mr. Linus, can you read for us what, is a, what a diode is? Uh, a diode is a semiconductor that is a two-terminal electronic component with a P and junction. Yes. And as you can see from the symbol, the anode, which is the positive terminal of, of a diode, is represented with A, <clears throat> and the cathode, which is the negative terminal, is represented with K. Yes, that's, uh, that's very good. And what we have there is the normal electrifier diode. I know now you can be able to identify it in its uh, physical form. So how is a diode formed? A diode is normally formed uh, when a P-type material and N-type material are joined together to form a junction. So when uh, a P-type material, which the major carriers are, Mr. Ngasha, Mr. James Ngasha, are you with us? Yes, what are the major carriers uh, in a P-type material? Yes, uh, very good. So a P-type material has holes and has the, ma has the majority carriers, while an N-type material has uh, electrons as the majority carriers. As opposite charges attract, few holes in P-type tend to go to the end side, whereas the few electrons in an N-type uh, tend to go to the, the P side. So you find as both of them travel towards the junction, this junction here, uh, they recombine with each other to neutralize and form ions. Now in this junction, there exists a region where the positive and negative ions are formed. This is called the PN junction. So basically that's how the PN junction is formed. That is how a diode is formed. And we can dig on to the next uh, item, which is the biasing of a diode. And normally when we say to bias, to bias is to connect a component in a power supply. So that is essentially what it means as to bias. So how is a diode connected into a power supply system? So there are two ways in which we can bias a diode. That is a either forward bias or reverse bias. Isaac, are you with us? Yes, I'm here. Yes. So when we say we are forward biasing a diode, what, what do we mean? Uh, this means that uh, the diode is connected in a, with the anode at the positive terminal and the cathode to the negative terminal of the supply. So these are shown in the diagram. Yes, 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 that's very good. So when we forward bias, we expect uh, that uh, 
we are allowing the power will be allowed to pass correct yes but we know that uh, we have the minimum voltage that is required for biasing that one we covered uh, in our last session and uh, for silicon material we said that uh, minimum voltage is mr kinga yes yes the minimum uh, voltage required to buy as a silicon uh, semiconductor that is 0 0.6 around 0 0.6 volts yes 0 0.6 0 0.7 that's uh, that's 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 good what about germanium Linus, Mr. Linus. Is Mr. Linus with us? Yes, he is with you. Oh, you want to help me? Yes. Yes, I'm asking what is the minimum uh, voltage required uh, to buy as a, a germanium uh, semiconductor material? For, for germanium? 0 0.4. Uh, 0.3. Yes, yes, that's uh, 0 0.3. So good. So reverse bias. What do you mean by reverse bias, Mr. Gacha? Yes. So what do we expect uh, when we do that? Ms. Tangacha, if we leave us by as a diode, what, what, what is the outcome? Yes. Okay. Uh, I can gradually help. That one, uh, when you reverse bias, it means that uh, yes. no current will flow until uh, maybe the, the electric field in the diode maybe is, is broken down. It's broken so down. So, so when we leave as buyers, uh, we won't be able to allow any current to pass through. Mm -hmm. uh, but if we increase uh, the, the, the voltage, it will reach a point that there will be the breakdown. And that is what we refer to as uh, the breakdown voltage. But at that point, we will maybe have destroyed our diode. Yes, that's uh, just about that. So we look at uh, diodes characteristics and some of the most uh, important characteristics. We have the peak inverse voltage characteristics. We have the current voltage characteristics. And as you can see from the graph there, they, they are well illustrated. So when you forward bias a diode as displayed on this axis, on this side of the axis, you will find that uh, from zero voltage up to a certain point, and uh, maybe in our case, Let's assume we have a germanium uh, diode. You, you find that uh, from zero voltage, there is very, 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 very little conduction or passage of current. Just the leakage, the, 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 which is in its uh, microamp, it's very small. But when we get to a point, and that's from the graph here, it's about uh, 0 0.3 volts our diode starts conducting and uh, current is able to pass through with the increase of the forward voltage. Likewise, on the other side, we have the, the reverse biasing mode of the diode. And we can see when we reverse biased, even with the increase of voltage, there is a very minimal reverse currents and it is in the range of uh, microamperes. But it reaches a point. In this case, it's almost 30 volts where there is breakage. Or rather now the, 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 the resistance that was being offered by the diode, it is overcome. 
by the by the, the the increase in the voltage, and the diode breaks down, and uh, there is a uh, an inflow of car uh, of current. So uh, at that, we have been able to look at uh, the formation of a diode. We have been able to look at the various modes of biasing the diodes, and we have also been able to look at uh, the diode characteristics. There are very many types of diodes, as you can see there. They are listed many types. Those are just few. So as part of your assignment, I will expect you to add more and uh, their characteristics and also their application. So, Mr. Isaac, what have we learned today? I've, done, I've learned the forwarding of the diode in forward, 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 biasing of the diode in forward mode. Okay, Mr. Ngasha, what have you learned? Yes, that's very good. So I hope you have been able also to sign your attendance in the LMS. And yeah. uh, yes, thank you for attending this session. We have taken about 12 minutes, uh, but it's good. So I wish you all good night. Thank you. Thank you, yes, you yes, too. Yes, yes. So thank you guys for attending this lesson.